Edgar, what are you doing here? I know. What? I know. Know what? You know. No. I think I know what you know I know. Look, I don't know what you think I know, but I don't know it. Your dog is alive! You guys just met this morning. Yes. yes. And yet you have so many scenes together. It wasn't, it, what, were you listening to one another in headphones or how did that work? Not really. No, no we, we just, never even talked to each other until like, this morning. Yeah. Tip, Tim knows like how he wants each scene to be. So I guess he like, knows how we have to interact together, I guess. But yeah, I think it was uh, a little bit easier for, for my character to do it because a lot of my scenes were just with Sparky. There wasn't a, a ton of like, I mean, no, there was. I had like a lot of scenes with like other people. So I just kind of like imagined there was my dog there. And then and then for me personally, being in there, um, being able to do the Peter Laurie impression, that was actually something new for me, uh, actually doing a Peter Laurie impression because I do impressions and everything at, at home all the time. But this is a new impression for me, and I usually do best when someone, when I hear the impression, like hear the actual voice. So did you watch then, Peter Lorre movies? Oh, or? absolutely. What did you watch? Just curious. Uh, the Maltese Falcon and Casablanca. Oh, yes. perfect. You'd seen them before. Exactly. Yeah. No, never. And so that was my first time. But um, what happened is, is they hired Tom Kenny to not only read opposite me, but also to do uh, a Peter Lorre impression of the line. And then I would do an impression of his impression. Now, how did this resonate for you? Because I had a dog named Sparky, so was it hard thinking about your dog at all? No, no, my dog's not dead yet, but... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. we'll <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, yeah. But what resonated for you in both of the roles? Tim told me basically just, like, just want to be myself. Like, just, I don't have to obviously put on, like, a crazy, like, Tim Burney voice or anything. I just kind of had to be myself and be a real kid, so... And then with me, actually, uh, j after I had finished recording and, and just before I uh, saw the screening of the film, my dog that we had for six years had passed away. So I really was, uh, I, I knew what the feeling was, especially at that time. And, it be and the film became even closer to me and, and closer to home after that moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. But what was it like? I mean, did you get little figures to take home with you? Yes. I mean, like, yeah, actually, yeah. OK. <laughs> and they're the ones that were used in the yeah, movie. Yeah. 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 Like one well, well, one of them, because they have they probably have tons like, of them. like, like eight, 15, 18, yeah, 18 Sparkies, 15 Victors, yeah. and then multiples and multiples of the other characters. So that was we got one of them. Oh, you but didn't ask, to, you're like, can I get an extra Sparky? There's got to be tons of Sparky. I know, no, 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 we're, <laughs> listen, at this point, this is my first animated film, and my, and obviously first Tim Burton project, so, I mean, I, I, I asked no questions, I, I just, what they gave me, I was uh, immensely appreciative of. <laughs>